Uh, my name is Amanda Shuffleberger, and I'm the wildlife biologist for Sierra Pacific Industries. I'm their biologist for the Tahoe District, which encompasses a lot of the wolverine known as Buddy, his territory. is It's pretty much my district. Some people have had the honor to have seen him out either backpacking or snowmobiling or something, but it's it's very, it's just a handful of people that have actually um, been able to witness him. He, he, I think, moves as soon as he hears somebody, he's out of there. I've seen his tracks, of course, I can usually tell when he's been there, but I think the closest I've come to actually crossing paths with him is still about two hours. Usually I go out every week or every other week and I collect the little SD card from the camera. Sometimes I'll add a bait, a piece of roadkill or a chicken. Uh, I get from a butcher chicken parts or something, but usually I just add this. It's called gusto. It's a scent, it's a scent lure for carnivores. And usually that's what, it, what will bring him in. And he kind of will just check around the camera. And then I have kind of gun cleaning bristles around the tree. Then that also, when he's feeding, he'll rub his belly uh, along those bristles. And then I come and collect those hairs to make sure we're dealing with the same wolverine. He'll spend hours at the camera just kind of sniffing around. If there's food, he'll eat a little bit. He might bury it. Uh, he just kind of mills around camera, and then he'll be gone for maybe days, maybe even longer, and then eventually he'll he'll come back. Sometimes he'll lay on his back, and he'll have his kind of legs splayed open, and I always think, you know, it's like he's so full, like, oh, I'm so full from Thanksgiving dinner, and I just enjoy so much of just watching him, and and putting, you know, personality to him or, or just watching what he does. I get excited when I can tell when I walk, you know, snowshoe or snowmobile into a, a site. I, when I can tell he's there, you know, it's hard not to have excitement to say, oh, he's, you know, he's come here. I probably got some good pictures. For me, studying him or watching all this footage of him for so long, I have this, um, this love for him that I, I just, I worry about him sometimes, but he's made it this far. I mean, he's definitely a survivor.